You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. Today we are unboxing this big old box. This is supposed to show up in time for a live stream, but FedEx decided to hold on to it for an extra day. So we get an unboxing instead of an online live reveal, but that is totally fine. I'm just gonna... I know one of the things in here I don't want to cut, so I'm trying to find a place. It looks like it's pretty innocent to cut. Let's try up here at the seam. Yeah, this looks good. Woo! That stuff was right there, so I'm glad I was very careful. That was that could have been a disaster, but the mighty shaman undeterred. Okay, there's a box. And here is a bag. So this bag is from Esterbrook, and it is a very nice, oh, it closes the top. This is a very nice sort of Rattani sort of tote here. I can zoom out enough to get it in the camera. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Almost, almost got it in the camera. Let's put something in it, maybe that'll help. Very effective Velcro at the top. Nice, nice squishy handles. Those are pretty good. This is not your typical tote. This goes for 15 bucks on their website uh, at Esterbrook. Or you can go to the DC Pin Show, and if you buy any of the stuff from, that Esterbrook or that Kenro sells, uh, I'm pretty sure it's anything Kenro has, but you know, check with them. Uh, then you can go and show it to them at the Kenro table, and they'll be like, cool, here's a tote. Let's look at some other stuff, too, if you want. So uh, you can totally go and find that. That is a nice, that is a nice bag. When you said tote, I was like, yeah, okay, fine, tote bag, whatever, cool. But this is real nice. Cool. All right. Let's get into this box. I gotta keep this away from the cats. Looks like something a cat would like to scratch. Right. Okay, nothing here on the outside. Don't tell me which side is up or anything. Yes. Oh, what's this? A t-shirt. A sticker. Very nice. What's on this t-shirt? <laughs> this t-shirt looks cool. Can I get in here? An extra large, they know my size. There we go. T-shirt with three of these, uh, uh, with three of these on it. Three of these sunglasses. You can like put your other sunglass on there if you want. So these uh, sunglasses and these pins were designed by uh, your friend of mine, Hey Matthew, Matthew Morse, who is an excellent drawerist. He did my logo for the uh, for the channel and all that jazz. Uh, good dude and uh, really cool pins. These uh, soft enamel pins. And now a really cool shirt. I'm into that. I will wear that. Nice. Might see me at the show wearing that, in fact. Okay, let's get into this rest of this box here. Okay. All right. Ooh, three boxes in one bag. Throw that over my shoulder. So, these are all Esterbrook pens, as you can see from the packagings. The right, uh, the right pen for the way you write. Nice, like that. Uh, born eight, or established 1858, reborn 2018. I can't believe it was 2018 they started bringing these things out. All right, so we have three pens here. Looks like we've got a medium, an extra fine, and a 1.1 stub. Fun, okay. So these are the Paradise Collection. They really got a whole theme going on here. I like these boxes too. They got these fabric-y boxes. It's good stuff. Open that up. We've got here a story about Esterbrook being reborn, etc. A QR code there and a nice little circle. I like that. Point your camera at the QR code to access the warranty page. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, anything under here? Nope, just regular old pin pillow. Oh, there's a cartridge uh, stuck in the side there. That's fine. It's a fine place for a cartridge. You get in there. Boom. And then there is the first pen, which is, it's not on the box itself, it's on this box. This is the Lemon Twist Fountain Pen. So these are the Esterbrook JR series, which are the same size uh, and general dimensions as the Esterbrook J series. The R is for Reborn, so it's the Esterbrook J Reborn. And you can see here it has an Esterbrook engraving here on the cap band. That's all that's on that cap band. Nice, classy, not a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of... You know, nonsense and branding. 
we have uh, this right here, which I've told Carrie, I'm like, this is this is the right place to put a thing if you were going to do a piston filler, bro. And he's like, I know. So uh, that might be a thing in the future. Who knows? We've got this cool uh, metallic finial down at the bottom and then a brand new finial up at the top. Uh, Carrie was really excited about this finial and I noticed it too right before like we were texting each other and uh, I was like oh I like that finial too he's like yeah that finial's new so uh, you have a different color finial this one is a yellow uh, yellow pen with the sort of teal finial and then it also has this medallion up at the top the previous version of the JR which I don't have uh, had like a flat disc with this uh, forever logo you can see this like little infinity Asterbrook Infinity logo thing here uh, that was engraved on it, just like laser engraved or whatever. But this is a real legit uh, medallion All right there. That's real nice. It's got, some, it's got some dimension to it. Open up the pen. And uh, you can see this is the 1.1 stub. You can see how flat and stubby the front of that nib is. It's got the Forever logo there uh, engraved in the nib, uh, which is the gold finished nib. It's not a gold nib. It is a steel nib. Uh, number five, Yovo, I want to say, almost certainly, uh, and um, but it's got that uh, that gold finish to it, and then it's sort of engraved through, so you see the silver. Looks nice. All right, inside the pen, opens there, you have your Estherbrook converter. Going to need one of those for filling this up with inks, and there we go. Also, these pens post really well. I actually kind of prefer to use it posted because just a little bit on the small side. These are a smaller pen, and I've got I've got big old hands. And I know I've seen some other people like this is a really great great pen for my hand size. And I agree. If I had slightly smaller pen uh, hands, this would be great to use unposted. Uh, this is actually a really good pen to use posted. I, I don't have any problems posting this pen. I, I've tried out the JR before, so I can say for sure that I can definitely write with this uh, and when it's posted and all. So good stuff. All right, there's one. Let's look at the other two because we have all three of the Paradise series. This will be uh, Blue Breeze. Blue Breeze. Ah. Same box situation. Cartridge in there. There we go. I like the blue. I think the blue is real good. So here's the Blue Breeze, which has the finial from the yellow one, uh, Lemon Twist, right there. And I think the blue and yellow is a really nice combination. Audrey was saying that she wish, wished that these were in silver trim instead of gold. I look a little bit silver on the camera until you compare it to an actual silver trim. Uh, but these all come with gold trim. And actually, I think the gold trim looks pretty good on these. I'm usually a silver trim person as well. Uh, but I like the gold trim. I think it really, um, I think it goes nicely with the yellow and with the blue and such. All right, let's see the last one. Orange Sunset. Orange Sunset. All right. Same box. Same situation with the card and all this. All right, here's the orange one. Over here. All right, Orange Sunset. Which, uh, predictably, of course, I like. I actually like all three of these. I'm kind of surprised by how much I like all three of these. And I do like this. Uh, <laughs> I like this with the blue finial. I think that looks really good. Uh, it might have it might have looked really cool with the, uh, the yellow finial as well. But um, uh, the thing about having three pens is that you can't have, you know, all of them with different uh, finials, I guess. Well, you could put orange on. Put orange on this one? Oh, they could have put orange on this yellow one. That might have looked cool, but... Man, the, the yellow and the blue, I think, looks really sharp together. So I'm, I kind of like the way they did it. I think it looks pretty neat. So this is the orange sunset. Same look as the other ones when you open them up. There you go. This one has a uh, has an extra fine nib. Roll a little there. Converter and such. You can see the barrel is just slightly translucent. You can see the, uh, you can see the converter. Actually, kind of you can almost read it through the through the wall there. Almost. Not quite. Looks like it's got a denser uh, chatoyant section there where it says Esterbrook. But um, you can just swivel that around if you wanted to be able to read Esterbrook through. But I think it actually looks pretty nice. Feels good in the hand. Yeah. All right. Very cool. So uh, there you go. A little unboxing for you of some stuff that will be available uh, presumably at the DC Pen Show, including stickers. I'm sure they'll have pins there. I know they have patches as well. Uh, I don't have any of the patches, but those look pretty neat. And uh, also also this shirt, which, man, I really like. I wear my other Esterbrook shirt sometimes. It's got like a tractor on it, which is cool. But this is, <laughs> this is a very cool, very summery shirt. And uh, I, I dig it. So... 
Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much, Carrie and Kenro, for sending these out. And uh, I'm going I'm to give, give these a try. Uh, I will see you all later on on the channel. Peace out.